with a high value set. Yeah, that's all I'm really gonna say. That's, that's a lot of money on that on that Knicks back there, all the way in the back right. I'm actually so glad that you did this whole bit about his cosmetics when he got shoved in the far back of that versus square. <laughs> it brings out it brings out the shot in front of me. Oh uh, yes. No. <laughs> this should be interesting. See that that proves it that cosmetics don't matter because the new intro game screen doesn't give a single crap about what items you have. Nope. <laughs> oh, both of them were gifted, by the way. Very. Oh, he doesn't. He didn't even own either of these. So Ryoya is doing this. Thing. I thought he was maybe just gonna like fake out that he had planned to ward, but I think he's actually just trying to spot where Abed is getting his ward down. Jokes on him because Abed doesn't have the ward. <laughs> I don't have one either. Double, the double mind game's coming out. Uh, Fly's gonna put it on the on the low yeah. ground hill here. This is actually a really cheeky ward. This the only way you can get it is actually doing the quelling blade cut. But this this ward here gives you so much vision. And if you quell the right trees, you get everything over here. You get everything through here. Actually, you get everything. You literally do get everything. This is why Dyer has this slight advantage now because they just have this big ward that gives them so much. And like I said, if you quell the right trees, you get this too. Yeah, you don't have uh, the vision of the high ground mid, but with Magnus being as tanky as he is, Abed's probably just gonna be jungling anyway. It's not really that big a deal. Battle begins. Uh, look for the rune exchange. Yeah, it looks like uh, they're gonna spear up in the top here, so Arteezy's not gonna get that one. Looks like it's still a 2-2 even. They'll go 2-2. Two two. Arteezy did end up with uh, plasma field level one, which is a bit interesting considering the lane. And I expect to actually get a TP top. So they're looking to try lane this razor, I think maybe because of the plasma field. What did you expect? They're looking to abuse his early levels. It's not quite as strong. You don't have the static link. Yeah, they might be trying to at least get the first blood here. Mike's still yet to spec anything up. He went for brain sap, so looks like we're not going to go for the good old uh, casual setup of the early nightmare. I don't know if they're going to be able to get this first blood. Oh, and now they bottom. definitely can't. Yeah, this bottom with the plasma field. He's just going to back right up. <laughs> this does leave Life Stealer alone against Ramsey's bottom, too, and the impetus is just starting to stack up. He's already down to half HP. Not having a pleasant time in this lane. But it's a it's a decently long cooldown, level one spell. Uh, it's six seconds. It brings us back to how Viper was when Viper first got the change. <laughs> It's definitely not the worst thing ever. DNF's gonna get a lot of levels out of this, but he is gonna have a very tough time. It's just Ramsey's doesn't have a lot of HP to trade. And DMM it's just not it's not having a great time. He has Sal, four tangos, three branches, so he's got regen. Regen galore. Sal. How's this trialing working out up top? So far, so good. Uh, CS is actually pretty even up top. <laughs> they might be going for something here. Yeah, Monkey's Forever slowed up. They can't really go for an engagement. RTZ just doesn't have the levels quite yet. Maybe more levels into Static Field will get it, but uh, probably not. They were looking to abuse the uh, level 2 power spike when because they've reached level 2 before... Uh, Broccoli Hunters. I keep like in my brain trying to decide whether I'm going to call them Broccoli Hunters or Team Team in the moment. Well, so looks like they are going to try to make a setup here, but the Winter Wyvern's the only one they can go for after being woken up. But RTZ is going to scythe on IX Mike's damage, but uh, Mike doesn't really need to trade damage. He's got Brain Set. Yeah, he's going to get 30, but the nice first blood, they do get the kills that they need. I mean, that's Broccoli Hunters try and try to make this work. If you're gonna run a tri lane and leave your life to their lone bottom, you uh, definitely need to be putting the pressure on, so good place with them. Down in bottom here, we see Nyx, Crit trying to land the stun. He will get the stun on DNM and body blocking away, but there's not really enough damage on Ramses to get this blood here. Go, oh, oh well, it is close. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I severely underestimated level two impetus. Yeah, he was. He knew they weren't going to get the kill, so he wait. He held on to the impetus that whole time, just waiting for the final disengage when he knew DNA was going to be backing up all the way under tower to get that maximum impetus damage. Really nice patience from Ramsey was there. Hey, do you know Chinese at all? No. 
Well, uh, kind of, but no, I don't know how to read the, the letters. Okay. I mean, I know it's, I know it is RTZ, but it's like, I don't know what that actually is. I, I couldn't tell you. My thanks. Chat Checking might know what it is. on mid. Uh, Rioya having a pretty good lane so far. 18 and 11 to the 13 and 6. It feels so good to get a double deny on the range creeps. Abed, I don't think you would in this one, my friend. Rioya will get the easy pickings. He's just trying to add a creeps now. He's still... How did he just die? He, uh, he sacrificed himself to creeps. So he traded... The... This is something you'll see mids do sometimes, where they, uh... They, Hang they on. Get the experience out top. Yeah, DNM in the bot as well. The bot. Get the kill. Sorry, I thought you said top. I'm like, what's going on? I'm down oh, here. They were, they, they were making a, they were making aggressive pause for but nothing. Else. Gotcha. Yeah, well, they did get the kill on the life sealer with this one. Comes the pause coming out. EG's character's a little bit. I won't lie. Laggy behind. They technically, I don't know if they're in. They're, they're, they're all in one place, right? That's. Usually you would do that for these open qualifiers. You technically would not really scrim, but like, what's it? Yes, boot camp. Yes. That's what it is. Yes, would you I boot camp so, for close qualifiers? I believe so, but I couldn't tell you for sure. You know what? I bet I have one contact that can help me. Although I'm pretty <laughs> sure Grant is very busy right now. Nah, just call him up. It's fine. Well, I mean, he's not casting this now, is he? <laughs> I think he even said he's not able to cast the uh, the opens. And the closed? Both. <laughs> ah. All of the above. Thanks, Ramses. I knew you'd think that was funny. Did it for you, buddy. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so uh, Riyari had uh, sacrificed himself to Tari. You'll do it sometimes where you trade really heavily and you don't really want to carry out more regen. You just make sure you get the experience, get as much out of the way as you can before you die, and then you sacrifice yourself to even some Back up the top. We do see Fly getting caught out again, rooted up as well. They're trying to go for the kill on Mike, but Mike's not going to be the return. No, Monkeys might actually be the return here. Fly trying to click away. They do manage to get the kill on Fly, and Monkeys just walking away here. Damage siphon, though, 72 total. Husky gets body blocked by a creep, but it won't be enough to slow him down quite yet, though. Back in the bot, DNF goes down yet again. There's the BM tip. You okay? <laughs> oh, that wasn't an all chat. That was just a kill. Not not at silver. I think that's one of the one of the better silver calls. You okay? Are you okay? The next one would be like Lion. Both, well, both of them work with each other. Because it's, it's you fought to tame the Lion and then sorry to disappoint you. Anyway, Rilia trying to go for a kill here. All about illusions. Trying to stack up here, but little they know. Nyx is on the back lines here looking for a cheeky stun. Is going to miss it. We have Mike coming back in as well. He's level two, though. He's not really going to be able to put down as much on the table. Yeah, it's level three now. He's, he's fine. This does put some pressure on monkeys. Yes, they will go for it, but he spears away, breaks the lane. That'll be a, a, a clean disengage there. DNM is. Oh my god, DNM is so sad. He's died twice and he has six CS. Oh, he has nothing. He is at support CS at the moment. Oh, that feels so bad. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. Man, this this hurts, dude. It doesn't it doesn't feel great, that's for sure. Radiant's this crit is gonna tank some right clicks mid. Uh, at this point, Abe is just looking in the jungle, accelerate his farm as quickly as possible, so Nick will take the levels mid. Try and <coughs> sorry. Try and I don't need you trying. Looks like they go for the stun actually back up on the top here. Razor's in a bit of trouble. The follow-up stun will be there and Arteezy. It's going down. <laughs> Monkey's really wanting to get that kill there. It's the last hit gold. Return them BM tips. Well, I mean, absolutely. If the enemy's going to play the mind games, you have to. Yeah, but we're not playing against OG now, are we? <laughs> uh, I watched that true sight. That was a very good... Just mute them if they trigger you. Uh, that's good. You gotta play those mental. Dota is a game about mental warfare. That is, that is all Dota is. Nothing in Dota is more important than mental warfare. You win the mind game, you win the, the ranger game. Yeah, I mean, if you tilt your opponent out of the game, they're out of the game. 
That's it. That's that's just how it goes. You want to know why our community is toxic? Well, that should be just because everybody is. Brilliant it does make a rotation down to bottom, forces Ramses to TP out back to base and look for some pressure on the tower. As Husky will take some experience mid of his own. He's also in level three. Both supports on um, Radiant having a, a bit of a tough time there. This bike's gonna get run down now. We do see Ryoya getting Spike Carapace down here in the bot though. Yeah, it does get ran down. Razor's not gonna be a big threat here, but Ryoya gonna be in trouble here. Ramsey's just trying his best here. Level six, you definitely don't go for your ult at six though. Chantress just does way more damage if you don't. Nyx coming in, stun is available, but it looks like Ramsey's is gonna dive. Crit can't find the stun. Looks like, nope, they find the stun at the last second here. There's no way Spike Carapace will help him out at the last second. Ryo with one charge, just trying his best to live here. Siphoning oh. as much HP, but will not get it. <laughs> he will go close. down. Very close. Good very, very, very from uh, Ramsey's there. He got the maximum efficiency out of the one and then switched back at that last bit of damage. Really, I'm making an effort to top slow that down, but I'm quite with. Abed is just, just completely free from at this point. He's clearing stacks left and right. Why? Going down again up here. Broccoli Hunter's doing a pretty good job picking off supports. And like you were saying, everyone just has a jungle. Got Arteezy. He's got to be in the jungle too. Looking at his CS, he's only 31 and 4. And he's got boots and 17 wand charges. There's nothing in here. Crit is going to get spotted. We'll end up sleeping the Razor here. And they want to go for the kill on the Razor, but the Spear hits the Nyx first. The stun does land on both, but Mike, very low HP here. Just going to get clicked away. One push away from monkeys, but Mike, no HP, no chance of survival. Or he has a very high chance of survival. Yeah, well, okay. Well, whatever. Okay, good talk. <laughs> I don't well, need your opinion. It's a uh, it's been a farm fest right now. It feels like top lane is the only place we're really getting any action. And like you did mention, Ramses is uh, sorry, Arteezy is getting slowed down a lot because of this. The putting heavy pressure on him, looking to slow him down as much as possible. Both outposts currently controlled by EG, so the XP bonus will be uh, very nice for them. EG doing a really good job controlling these outposts. Outposts still make a very significant difference in Dota right now and just gives them the map domination and uh, it's just, you can't neglect not having your outposts. I, I would love to say it gives you vision, but it really, 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 really doesn't. Yeah, not anymore. I, just, I think just the vision you didn't catch me the first time, it really doesn't. I think the vision was probably the most pleasant thing about it, was, to be honest. It was kind of silly. Well, um, Monkey's Forever Fly dropping shoot. Arena, but Fly could just fly out of it. Exactly what he did. Find the slow Ryoya. That's a DD, though. The crit trying to come through here, but now they have Offed coming in with an RP, but they only get one, but it's the one that they want. Nice use of the spike carapace there too. Gets that extra little bit of damage. Up top actually, they'll find Husky. Razor just able to run him down with a plasma kill for the treads. Looks like Eye of the Storm was active as well, only for that short period of time. Which is it? How long is this? Third? Uh, no, it was not up at the time. Now the for monkeys again. Chilling out here in the mid. He throws the spear, but he's not gonna find anybody. He actually just puts crit back on the tower and they're okay with this. The spear, uh, he's able to spike Kyrkos the spear as well, so the damage got reflected right back. And is maybe gonna be a back. There's no Fiend's grip though. He needs a little bit more levels. And Abed is a tanky boy. He's got 1600 HP to work with for him. Yeah, it's. You know, you may have lost mid, but, you know, bracers and boots. And <laughs> eventually an Echo Saber as we see it actually being picked up now, and yeah. I mean, this uh, is what. This is what. Magnus mid looks like. It looks like, oh, I, I can't just free farm the lane. Okay, I'm just gonna go make stacks in the jungle with uh, yeah, just, for my whoops. support. And I'm... I lost game. Time to Terrorblade. Yeah. Yeah, really, Terrorblade. From I miss Terrorblade so no, much. No, I don't. do. Yes, I, I have the Arcana. That's why I miss uh, it. Okay. Maybe you do that. Nobody else does. There's so many people that miss Terrorblade. Are you kidding me? Winter's Look at me. PL. Anyway, Ryoya is going to be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, there was the curse there. The stun does go out, but he's just sucking it up good. 
Taki Saki, he is oh. perfectly fine. Yeah, well, he could have died there. That miss. 20% distance damage. <gasps> Crit! Oh, hang on. Zero. He's looking for him, though. Drops the silence. The spike carapace will be there. They know he's there. They have the sentry. I think the uh, neutral creeps aggroed to him. And that's how he was able to spot that, uh, that sentry there and get the spike off in time. And they're, they like, just uh, have sentries everywhere. They yeah, they've like got the Nyx. Again, they stun him to the wall, and he's just dead. DNM will get, get the kill, kill actually. He's very good as uh, looking at net worth. He's only at 4.1 at the moment. But he's he making that comeback. He's going for lightning. Yeah. He has been able to recover fairly well. He's got the javelin. He's working towards that maelstrom that we do see. Curious to see if he goes for the halberd afterwards or not. I, I think he should, but he might opt to get something else instead against the razor. Well, usually when you see a life stealer. At least nowadays, because uh, again, I I saw this in pubs once. No, um, it's actually pretty normal to just still beeline the heavens for the life stealer. There's like yeah. even if it's not, there's even if there's not a hero, you'd heavens in the game. Yeah, the, like the it's extra, it's still like the go-to item for life stealer. The uh, life steal amp or HP regen amp, whatever, however they phrase it, uh, it's just <laughs> it's, it's so valuable. Self HP regen and life steal amp. So I was actually right on both counts. That's uh, oh. it's very nice for life steal. Broccoli hunters see. putting down some aggressive ward. They want to maybe <clears throat> jump for this Ramsey's kill here. Now they have six on Bane. Oh, well, looks like they're not doing it. They're just going to do aggressive warding. Uh, they well, they smoked up and they sat there for a bit. And Ramsey's just didn't poke out far enough. So they are wasting a lot of time here, not getting anything really done on the map. While well, EG is still farming very well, all three cores top net worth right now, 4k net worth for them. Middle tower is under overall, as we just mules done on Razor. So we'll go for PKB next. It's just farming up. Even there popping spells, they get the kill on Husky in the mid. And yeah, it's just EG. They're they're playing the they're playing the map right. They're playing it well. They've got the map domination, like we were talking about earlier. They have the shrines, sorry, outposts. Everybody wants to call them shrines anyway. It doesn't matter. So we want them back. Do we though? I mean, yeah. Well, remember base shrines? Remember yeah. those? Oh god, that was the worst. CG yeah, I grinded it. That, that was stuff. great. I loved it. I was like, that was like at the point in time I was at the best possible gaming potential at that point in time. Well, they're gonna set up from the monkey's mid. Stun out and crit. Spike Carapace just gonna only slow things down. They'll still clean up the creep wave. There's every hero in the mid and still RTZ just off on the sidelines, just farming away, keeping it good, keeping it clean, and just. Easy pickings, He's, especially since he might actually be picking off Rioya here. No, it's going the other way around. Arteezy, he's brought up. He's going to get the Yules, though, out on the Death Prophet, saving him for the time being. Spike Carapace, not going to slow down anything quite yet. There's still four spirits going after him. They have the heal, though, and they do find the catch. They get the kill on Rioya. <laughs> no RT even needed. Oh, yeah, it was like a second away. Good heal from Fly there, keeping that Arteezy alive. Ghost popped as well. This is a big timing window for EG, where they can look to play aggressive, and they're going to smoke up immediately. We've got the Blink on to Magnus now. Blink Echo online. He's ready to fight. They want to get this jump on probably monkeys here, because they don't know where the Life Stealer is at the moment. He's currently in the jungle, farming away, sending off items with this Maelstrom. Still smoked up, though. Abed's going to run into Husky. They find Husky, and I don't think they'll want to RP this one, and they have no real need to. The fear does go out, but the spiked carapace is going to slow it down, and Husky eats the dirt. They well, expend all the TPs. That DD rune. Do pick him up there, but Fly is coming in. He's trying to find a good Winter's Curse target, but it's got garbage range at level one. They did use the Fiend's Grip there on the uh, Arteezy, that is how they were to get that kill. Well, there's you, you have to use those big, big boy spells to try and get down the big boy himself. But look, with that one kill alone, he's at, uh, he's now underneath the net worth of the Life Sewer. But like, the big thing is, is that the Life Sewer has just been jungle farming kind of this whole game. You haven't really been able to see what he's done on the map. He's just running around being in the jungle. The Van Brace on uh, Abed now is going to be huge. He's going to have like 2,500 HP. He's on Strength Threads and Strength Van Brace. 
is actually just yeah, so tanky. Big beefy boy, he didn't even go for the 200 HP talent at 15, or 10, I mean. Goes for the attack speed, because he's mid, so he's gonna core. Aurelia, in a bit of trouble, throws out the silence, ain't gonna do much here, it's just gonna go down. He'll just try to siphon as much HP as possible, but nothing to Monkeys. siphon. Monkeys didn't quite have the blink, it was on, it went into his backpack from the courier, and it was just swapping out, he had three seconds left when Rayoya died. Those darn mangoes. 60 damage picked up at the level 10 talent over 1% cold embrace heal. That's, that's, that's not like a no-brainer pick right there. What, the uh, cold embrace heal? I don't know, I just, 1% more heal over 60 damage? I mean, you do do damage with Winter's Curse now, so it's not that crazy. Yeah. No, I meant like that's, that's the pick. Oh, I thought you were saying you should get the 1% heal. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I was like, what are you talking about? You absolutely take the damage. It's like... We're on the same page. We're just... Yeah, 100%. We're, we're green around each other. Yes. <laughs> well, they're going to find the Willow again. Husky. Starts the TP. There's nothing they can do to interrupt it this time because uh, no Nyx Assassin Nyx. floating around. Nyx it's actually the, uh, meteor hammer. Ooh, I love it. Yes, Whoops. let's bring it back, please. Well, the stun is long enough on inhale that it's good, and it gives you it gives you more wave clear, which is something that I think EG was kind of lacking up to now. Five two point seven. Yeah, it is long enough. Looks like they're gonna go for Rioya. The fear goes out, but it's not gonna do anything. They get the fiend script on Razor, but the heal's gonna follow suit, and it's just like, well. Take the damage. The, they're just gonna keep going. They they could they could easily pick off anybody on this back lines here. Mike's only seven. Monkeys is twelve. He has blink and that's it. There's just no items and you know. They want D and M is. They can get him. Farming away up here. Crits invis. Are they gonna find him? Is the big boy question here. There's no sentries being found. Dire dropped the scan. They're not gonna it's find just anything. A little though. bit too fast. I'm just gonna let to pressure the tower instead. You might well, love to cut another wave here. Yeah, I, I I see him cutting the wave, but there's no way they'd be able to get the response on top of him either, so he'll just cut the wave. He'll have only that one wave to work off of. Do you see that Crit's trying to make his way over to him? They have to get the RP. Oh, I miss. It's the only way, and they miss him. It's a good guess from Mobad. It's close. Down bottom, they will lose Fly. No arena or anything big dropped, just a... Uh... Oh, hang on. Yeah, back up the top, there's a stun. It is gonna whip though, because it's just one second off, but it doesn't really matter, and the disarm doesn't do anything here. DNM's just dead. That's 174 siphon damage here. Crit's gonna wake up Arteezy, and Mike's just like, well... Plasma field Guess I'll just die. Seconds. <laughs> oh, there it is. Guess I'll just die. There it is, the plasma Very field will find the claim. They find the Carapus stun on Dark Willow. There's a Yules out on Dorelia immediately, but no team fights that are gonna come originate off of that one. He didn't have the uh, the fourth point in stun on Nyx, so that's why the, the Life Sealer didn't quite get comboed with the uh, Meteor Hammer. He does have it now, so it will be enough time. You would think uh, the 0.3 seconds would make wouldn't make a significant difference, but you know you have a cast animation with the stun. The stun lasts upon the cast animation point time. Speaking of which, we do see it now being moved down here. Perfect. That's how the combo needs to be executed. Sorry. Rioya will be now on Hob Edge, sitting at 3k HP. He's a big boy. Uh, this hero is actually just a big boy. Yeah, he's he's real strong here. That BKB. Literally right around the corner, like you were saying. I think they just take Roche. Yeah, this is Roche, 100%. Crit's like, let me start him. Decent fight around the pit. Is the only thing. They have to, they have to catch Fly. Well, the big thing is, they have to blink in and do Arena. That's yeah. that's literally it. But Mars on the other side of the map now finally head up with the rest of the smoke. team here. They're going for it. They have to land the perfect Dark Willow. Arena combo, but the problem is crits on the outside as well as uh, fly out here on the top left. Yeah. So there's not really much they could really do here. Nick's gonna go ahead and just drop the uh, 
meteor hammer on the tower here, but it looks like, yeah, Roshan's not going to be contested. BKB is being popped out here. Odd bet jumping in. The arena is thrown down, but guess what? The one person they want to kill is in the in the arena with them anyway. So Rioja is going to be lifting himself up, though. The fear is going to go out, lands on nobody. They might just disengage. We'll see Crit in the back lines in a bit of trouble here. Spike Carapace is available, but Ramsey's killing off two here. Still looking for more. No, the Spear's not going to find anybody. Now they're going to turn back out on this Dark Willow. And Husky, not exactly in a safe place, will be going down as well. The thanks being thrown out. Only the Winter Wyvern going down here. They might actually be able to get more here as we see Razor trying to chase after the monkeys forever. They do see him. He does drop the Yules, but there's not really much else they can combo with him. He's actually speared to the tree here. He has Blink in but, one and a TP ready. Yeah, he'll just blink out. Do oh, see Ramsey's coming behind Ramsey's. Him. Coming in from the side here, does have enchant in three seconds, actually. Doesn't actually have it. But it uh, doesn't really matter. The Just throw it at the tip. Oh, Ramsey's uh, actually enchanters. has the Aegis. Yes. Okay. I guess that makes sense. You have Tanky's hero. It's the only one with the only core without a BKB. You just want him to sit in front and be tanky and hard to kill. <laughs> I think they get the tower with this one, and I think the hurricane fight coming in on the courier. Ah! Yep, hurricane fight. Man, how sad are you as DP when you're going blade mail after you lose? <laughs> like, that's. This is a rough game for Rio, yeah, man. Well, they yeah, are it's, gonna it's find real hard. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw Rio TP to the tier tower that's directly to the side of him, but they do see RTZ, like you were saying, pretty low HP, but he's gonna be healed up. The Winter's Curse goes through it as well. Just clicking away, there's that 60 damage coming in on IX Mike. They get the kill, Meteor Hammer not even needed for this one. Does have Arena, they drop the RP, they get who they want, but they drop a really good Arena, but there's no Dark Willow. There's no fear for them to get the combo, and Offense just cleaning house. We find the kill both. DNM is going to to creep the stun at the exact time needed. DNM still trying to go for a kill. IX Mike die, 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 dies back again. Oh. And it looks like it's a GG as Broccoli Hunters are done with this one and they wanna they wanna move on. Well, they, they put up a pretty good fight, all things considered, honestly. But EG, you know, it's it, it's the big NA team. It's it's the